In this tutorial, we will create an advanced search bar in React that has features like autocomplete, filter data. We can also navigate with arrow keys and when we hit enter, it will lead us to that page. Same as YouTube search bar, we will create all these from scratch. So this is a new React application and I add some basic styles for the background and just a simple search component. You can download this starter template from the description box. Now let me show you code inside this search component. So first of all, I added one input for search. After that we have search icon and close icon which I directly imported from material UI. One div for showing search results and one sample suggestion row. You can modify CSS according to your choice. Now let's implement search functionality. So there are two use cases of search bar on websites. We search from API like YouTube. So all auto suggestions comes from the backend. And the second use case is filtering existing data available in the application. For example, filter records according to name. So we will see both type of search bar in this tutorial. First, we will see how we can show auto suggestions using API. So first of all, we will create a state for handling the search input. So write use state and we get this snippet using the ES7 extension. We define this state as search and set search and as the default value, we pass an empty string. After that, we define one function called handle change and we get event object, arrow function and inside this, we write set search to event dot target dot value. Now in input, we pass on change event and pass this handle change function in it. And after that, value to search. Now the reason why I declare this state is because we want to use search state in use effect hook. If you don't know this react hooks, I have complete tutorial on all hooks. You can check this out. And one more thing, if you are interested in learning React from beginner to advanced level, then I will give one link in description and pin comment. Just register in and first 100 students will get this course completely free with certificate. So at the top, I import use effect and use state hooks from React. Now here, I use use effect hook and at first parameter, we pass callback function and at the second parameter, we add dependencies array and inside this, we pass search. So this use effect will run whenever we change search value. But we have to make sure it will not run for empty string. So we pass condition if search is not equals to empty string, then we call our API for getting data. So here, I am using simple fetch method but you can use Axios, which is the most popular way to call API in React applications. I will give you a link in description box of some of my useful tutorials. So write fetch and at the first position, we will pass our API string. So in backtick, we will paste our API URL for search. If you are frontend developer, then you need only API for this functionality. So here at the end, we will add our search term. So dollar and in curly brackets, we will add our search string, which we get from user input. Now, as we know, this expression will return a promise. And also we don't get response in JSON format. So we use here dot dan and we have to convert our response in response dot JSON. If you don't know fetch method, I already created a tutorial on that. You can check that also. And here, after that, we will add one more than method. And in that, we get our data. And let's simply console.log that data. Save the changes and take a look. Open the console and type something in the input box. See, here we get 10 responses. Now we have to just show them here in the suggestion list. So in this data, every object has this show object and in that object, 
we have url and the name of the show we have to display the name and when we click on that link then this url will open so back to vs code and for storing this data we have to create a new state so write use state and we call it search data and set search data and for default value we pass here empty string and in this fetch method at the place of console.log we add set search data so we set our data in this array and we have to simply show them on our suggestion list so here we add curly brackets and we add here search data dot map and we pass here data for each item and index for getting the index of current data arrow function and inside this we have to return our suggestion line so i just cut this anchor tag and paste it here now at the place of this has we will pass link of that show so in curly brackets data dot show dot url this link is depends on your api data now if you know when we use map in react we have to use key property for each item so we add here key to index now the text we want to display is the show name so we write curly brackets and data dot show dot name save this and take a look so write something here and see we get the suggestions and when we click on any of these link will open in new tab now here we can add clear button when something is typed and when we click on that button all text will go away so back to vs code and we create one function call handle close arrow function and in that function first we will set search to empty string and we have to set search data to empty array now let's pass this function on on click event of close button so remove comment of close button and add on click handle close function save this and take a look oh we have to add some condition for this icons but for now let's just test close button so write something and click on close button see it's working now let's fix this icons so here we add curly brackets and write if search equals to empty string then we will show search icon else we show close icon save the changes and take a look write something and see it's working so this is the basic search functionality for any application now let's take this to another level you can see when we are typing in input box and we press arrow keys nothing will happen but for good user experience we have to add that functionality very few users likes to manually click on suggestion list think about it how many times you click on suggestion using mouse it is rare so we have to add navigation functionality in our application so first of all we create a new state variable called selected item and set selected item and as default value we pass here minus 1 just understand the logic and your all doubts will clear so when we press down key the selected item value will increase by 1 which is 0 and we put condition if selected item is same as index of the suggestion line then we will highlight that row simple as that first of all in this search input we have to pass one event called on key down which will run every time we press any key in this input so pass here function handle key down and let's first define this function so write const handle key down we have to get here event object arrow function and inside this we simply add console.log event dot key so by this event dot key we get pressed key name 
save the changes and take a look. Select the input box and press up arrow and see here we get arrow up. Now I press down arrow and enter. See here we get our key names. Now we can add our conditions according to that. So in this function, we add our first condition if e.key equals to arrow up. Make sure you write same string otherwise it will not work. And add and end selected item should greater than 0. Inside this, we write set selected item. Now here we have to get previous value of the selected item arrow function and we return previous minus 1. After that, we add another condition else if e.key equals to arrow down and end selected item should less than search data dot length minus 1 which is the last suggestions index value. And inside this, we simply copy this expression and paste it here and just replace this previous plus one. Now at last we add condition else if e dot key equals to enter and end selected item should greater or equals to zero because if selected item value is minus one and we press enter then this will give us error. And if selected item is greater or equals to 0, then we want to open that link in new tab. So we write window dot open and at the first parameter, we have to pass our link URL. So how can we get that? Right, simple by using this search data array. And the index of current data is selected item and dot show dot URL. This will return our URL. Now last step, we have to highlight the current active index. So for that, in this anchor tag, I cut this class name and add here curly brackets if selected item equals to index of this data, then we add search suggestion line and active class. Else, we just add search suggestion line. Save this file and we have to define CSS for this active class. So open search bar dot CSS file and at the bottom just duplicate this hover CSS and at the place of this hover we add dot active class. Save this and take a look. Write something and press up down keys and see it's working. Now I hit enter and see link will open in new tab. You can see how simple it is. But here is a one bug. If we selected last item and then we keep writing, we have to multiple times pressing the up key. This is the bad user experience. So to solve that, we add one condition. If selected item is less than such data dot length only then we run this logic so move this code in this if condition and else we will set selected item to default which is minus 1 now same we do in this handle close function save this and see our bug is gone so you can modify the inner logic by yourself but this is the common way to make this suggestion now let me show you how to filter data which is available in our application that you will use like filter record from a table or anything. Here we have to just change this use effect logic. So for testing we have books JSON data stored in this books.json file. So when we search in the search bar we want to filter that data and show only related book names. So here. We first import data from we go one folder up and books.json 
Now in our use effect, we comment out this fetch API and we write data dot filter and inside this function we get each book arrow function and here we return book dot title by which we want to filter dot includes and inside this we simply pass here our search string now if our search string is available in the book title then only those records will display simple as that so this expression will return a new array. So we store that in variable called new filter data. And after that, we simply set search data to new filter data. Now we have to only change the map function. So in this return anchor tag, we have to change these properties according to our new data. So in href, we pass data dot link. And here we pass data dot title and that's it. Save the changes and take a look. Type here something and see we get long list of book names. So it's working. But also we have to fix some bugs. First one is I just want to display first 10 record on this list. So at the place of this search data, we add search data dot slice and we will slice 0 to 10. Save this and take a look. See, we only see 10 records. Now when we use arrow keys and select any key and hit enter, then it is not working. So let's see how we can fix that. Here in handle key down, we pass here show dot url. Instead of that, we pass here only dot link which we pass in href attribute and also this includes function only compare same string if we write something in small letters and book title is in capital letters then includes method will not pass that data so here we add title dot to lower case and also here search dot to lower case save this and take a look see link is working now now let's remove all search string you can see suggestion are still here so let's fix this last bug so previously in this use effect we added if search is not empty string now we add else which means if search is empty string we set search data to empty array simple as that save this and take a look see if we remove this search string suggestions go away so that's it for today's tutorial i hope your logic of creating search bar is clear now if you learned something then please press this like button for youtube algorithm your like and comment will help me to reach more learners like you see you in the next tutorial Till then, keep learning and have a nice day.